Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this issue, I'll show you methods to reduce the appearance of noise in photos. Noise appears in every digital image. It looks like tiny colored pixels or specks in a photograph. It is more noticeable in photos taken in low light situations. Noise can distort the details of a photo and cause distracting coloring, so it's something photographers try to avoid. There are several factors, such as the size of the camera sensor and the ISO setting, that can affect the level of noise visible in a photo. We are using Exposure for the demonstration in this video. If you don't already own Exposure, you can download the free trial from our website. The Noise Reduction Panel houses a powerful set of tools for eliminating noise. Exposure's Noise Reduction System uses innovative noise reduction profiles. Each unique profile is based on the camera sensor, the light sensitivity, or ISO, setting, and estimated electronic noise. When processing raw images, the noise reduction profile is selected automatically. In addition to the noise reduction profile, you can tune the noise reduction for the conditions of each image. Strengthen the color, or luminance noise reduction separately with independent controls. When making fine-tuning adjustments to noise reduction controls, zoom in to a 100% or greater magnification level. The color slider will increase the removal of splotchy color fluctuations between pixels, which lends better to smooth color gradients like skies. Color noise reduction isn't needed in photos or areas with lots of detail or patterns. Luminance will minimize the appearance of brightness noise, which appears most noticeably in shadow areas. In high-key or overexposed shots, reducing luminance noise isn't necessary. The smooth slider targets larger blotches of color in the image to apply gentle blurring. Use this control sparingly as it can add softness. Noise reduction profiles only work with raw images. The manual noise reduction option is for reducing noise in JPEG and TIFF images. Manual noise reduction also exists for backwards compatibility. If you've used previous versions of exposure to apply noise reduction, those settings will be applied with these manual controls. First, the brightness control will set the amount of monochrome noise to remove. Then use the detail slider to refine the effect and preserve sharp edges. Set the amount of color noise to remove with the color slider. Make refinements with the smooth slider to blur larger patches of noisy color. And that concludes this tutorial on performing noise reduction using exposure. Thanks for watching. For more information about exposure or to download the free trial, visit our website, exposure.software. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for up-to-the-minute updates about our latest video content.